In the corner there of Kyotani, the two Yamaguchi brothers, known for their explosive style and really thrilling fights. Referee explaining the rules now. One catch, one strike after you catch a leg. One punch or one kick, then you got to let go. We've already saw today uh, in the undercard a couple of uh, yellow, uh, yellow cards given for that. That's right. Referee yes. Wada takes yes. absolutely no nonsense as anybody on the circuit here in Japan, kickboxing or MMA, knows fine and well. Legendary referee, I've had oh. referee. Oh. numerous fights of mine. Very nice guy, but very good referee. Yes, for sure. You feel safe having somebody like that in there with you. We are underway. This is the third bout of the evening. Rise World Series. This is the 56 kilogram division. Kiyotani with that southpaw stance. He's trying to keep his distance and bring in that left leg. He's got a very good left middle kick, but right then he can see he can bring it right up the head just as easily. Yeah, that, that high kick there just popped right up out of nowhere. Luckily, Kaneko had his guard up and caught it. I watched Kaneko fight a couple times before, and he's very good at getting in and out, and once he's on the inside, throwing that uh, short hooks and uppercuts. And that, I think, is obviously going to be the theme of this fight. That's probably most of his fights, being a shorter fighter. Getting inside and getting off. Yeah, it's always seen as a disadvantage, but you know, some of these guys, they're, they're used to being at that disadvantage, so they're used to using it in their favor. Mike Tyson, that's all needs to be said. 5'10", yep. maybe, but beating guys, you know, 6'4". Tiny throwing some hard ones and twos. So far, Kanigo hasn't really solved the problem of how to get inside. Possibly some angles, not entering straight away. Straight, straight up. Oh, nice. Nice straight left hand from Kiyotani. He's going to be looking for that as his opponent tries to come in. Finished up, pop in the right. Middle kick up onto the forearm of Kiyotani. Kaneko standing his ground, not allowing himself to be backed up by the taller ranger of the two, Yuki Kyotani. Nice left hand again there. He's found a hope, and again. He's teeing off on him now, but he caught a counter hook from Kaneko in the pocket there. Kiyotani seems to be uh, raising his chin up a little as he comes in. He's got to keep that chin down and uh, guard against those punches coming from Kaneko. Kaneko doing the right thing with his right hand, keeping that guard up high because that high kick from Kiyotani is always a threat. Southpaw versus Orthodox. It's always there. Oh, nice uh, head movement, a little duck there from Kiyotani. Nice left hook there from uh, Kaneko coming in. Closing seconds of the first round. Good head movement from Kaneko there also. Good catch, a uh, hard left right hook there on the end there. Fairly tough round the call, but I myself would give that to uh, Kiyotani. He landed cleaner strikes. It seems like Kaneko is not, Kaneko is not quite so figured out how to get inside and stay inside. Some of the action from that first round. Kyotani finding a home for that left hand of his. He's going to do a little bit of damage there. Kaneko had him backed up. Very relaxed and focused looking Yuki Kiltani there. Choosing not to sit down between rounds one and two. His opponent, Aziz Akaniko, goes with Stu. Round two! Round two underway. They touch gloves back at it. Right away, Kaneko is coming forward. Kind of catches the opponent on the road, possibly even in the corner, but Kiyotani is circling well. 
standing his ground, keeping a tight guard, trying to bat down the right lead hand of Kyotani. To the body now. Oh, there you go. Gets him down with the left. One, straight left hand right two, now. Pokes the by a straight left hand. Four, five, doesn't seem, to be two, two, doesn't seen to be two seven, damage, eight, but he went straight to the corner. Kicks his feet under him. He's still looking light on his feet. He's still fighting back. Put his eyes up high, kicking low. Bit of a faint there had a reaction from Kyotani. I'm actually surprised Kyotani's not bringing it more. Once you get somebody knocked down, you have that uh, window, that chance. Yeah. Once that window or the door is closed, it might not come again. He seems content just taking his time and oh, he's caught a low blow there. That's unintentional, of course. Very interesting that Kyotani's style is, is wholly different from the two Yamaguchi brothers at his gym. Landing again, clean punches. Yeah, Kanako doing his best with some head movement and keeping a high tight guard, but he's still getting caught when he's inside the range. Boxing range. Oh, and he's caught him again. That's the second down. This time he's on skates. Can he recover from it? I think this might be over. He looks very wobbly. He's rushing in now. Not waiting this time, and that's it. The third down referee, Yogakuwada, waves it off. And Yuki Kyotani takes the victory in the second round over Azusa Kaneko. Knew what he was doing, obviously. I questioned why he didn't go for it more, but took his time, landed again, and then ended it. Very good movement, and good counter to his opponents coming in. What a perfect fight against a pressure fighter. Kanako was never able to sort out the uh, puzzle or riddle, if you will, of getting inside. He was never able to get in and like stay inside. But whenever he would come in, he could hit the punches, or Kyotani would hit and then quickly move to the side. Yep, it all boiled down to that, that range, that point where Kyotani had the edge with the reach. And as Kanako came in to get to his range, he was getting clipped. Now, as tough as they might be, the two Yamaguchi brothers actually shed a tear of joy in the corner there for their teammate, Yuki Kyotani, taking the victory. That was solid technical work from Kyotani in that second round. The third knockdown, taking the victory. Kaneko still sat down over in the red corner here. He's back on his feet now. Seriously rocked in that second round. A few words here from the winner. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Kyotani from Yamaguchi Dojo. Yamaguchi Dojo, the Yamaguchi brothers and myself. Please support the Yamaguchi Dojo. In two weeks' time, we will be fighting again.